Hello, hello, hello to all of you awesome, awesome people. Welcome to another video from SlideCab where we make your slides amazing. This video we are going to talk about using icons in your PowerPoint slides. Icons are great for adding that extra bit of value to your PowerPoint presentation. The reason why is pretty simple. They represent the meaning you're trying to get across, all while making your presentation look awesome. So let's take an example here. Now, I know my titles aren't very illustrative of my text or my icons, but let's just say we change this little uh, title here to caution. You can automatically see that the icon is associated to the title, and then the title will then be associated to the text, depending on what you have in the text here. It all comes together pretty nicely like a jigsaw puzzle, and it's separated from the other points so that your audience can automatically look at this and go like, okay, caution, he's talking about something that's, you know, uh, a warning about something, you know, so I should, I should listen to this. Do you know what I mean? It gives it that visual impact and it's all about that visual impact. Now to me personally as Yo-Yo, I believe the icons are without question the most important thing anybody can bring into a PowerPoint presentation. To me, introducing icons into your PowerPoint slides and decks is what separates the good slides from the bad ones, period. Now, before getting into the details, just be aware that there are many uh, different techniques you can do to get these icons on your PowerPoint slides. The techniques I'm showing you today are what work for me and what I think would work best for you. But just remember, in PowerPoint, there isn't always a single solution to everything you want to do. Sometimes there can be up to tens of different ways to do one thing. It all comes down to what works for you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so we have three different techniques that we're going to go over in this video. The first technique is called the quick fix, where we basically just get any sort of icon from a website that's a PNG file format, we convert it to white, we get it onto our PowerPoint slides and put a background behind it and we are good to go. We have the committing to quality technique, which basically means that you're going to find an SVG icon in particular, convert it to another file format called EMF, and then you're going to bring that icon into uh, PowerPoint, ungroup it, and then you can edit it any way you want. And then you got the I got this technique, which basically means you're going to take PowerPoint by the horns and make your own icon and say, I got this, guys. Don't worry. Hold my donut. Uh, we are gonna go every we're gonna go through every single one of these techniques uh, step by step So don't you worry if you get confused by the file names and the file extensions. I have your back Alrighty, so without further ado, let's get into the first technique right now The first technique is called the quick fix. We are going to go into iconfinder.com. I know that there's another website here Don't worry. We're gonna go into that website for the second technique So when you go into iconfinder.com, it's gonna look something like this, okay? So let's just say I want to search for an icon called Thai. You get all these different options here. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you get a free icon. Well, you don't want to make sure that if you want to buy something, it's up to you. But I just want to make sure it's a free icon so at least you can try it out first. Yeah. Uh, under the price thing on the left, just click on free. And you have all these free options in front of you. I like this one. So we're going to go with that one. Now, uh, the thing is with this one, you have to be aware, actually for all your icons really, be aware of all the licenses. Be aware of all the licenses, be aware of the all the licenses. I am making this clear three times for an important reason. Please use a designer's content with their explicit permission. Do not be in a position where any sort of violations will be filed against you or any lawsuits or whatever will be filed against you. It's very important. So we're just going to download the PNG file of this icon as you can see and we're just going to drag and drop it from a folder you can't see my folder but that is fine i'm just going to bring it back up here and i'm going to just bring it over to the other slide as you can see here so what is the deal with a png well first of all it looks a bit pixelated as you can see here yeah second of all the thing is if you compare it to a shape like we have on powerpoint like we have here this shape you can edit around any way you'd like you can stretch it out you can add you can change the color on the go like this. You can add outlines to it, whatever it might be, right? The problem is with a PNG file, it's recognized only as an image file. And image files aren't as editable as PowerPoint shapes, right? So if, for example, I want to click on color, these are the only color options I have. If I want to click on more variations and click on, uh, so I click on red, nothing's going to happen. So what's a quick fix? When you have this PNG file right in front of you, all you want to do is you want to bring in a shape like this one over here, reduce the file, uh, the image size like I did now, bring it to the middle, okay, very important. And then what you also want to do is you want to either keep it black like it is now, or do what I do, which is make it white. 
So to do that, you just click on corrections, picture correction options, and on the right side here, uh, just make the brightness to 100% and it's all white. So that looks better, I think. That looks better as an icon. So what we can do now is we can just like press Control G to group them up and just reduce the file size any way you'd like. And then there you go. That's a quick fix. You can do it in less than a minute. It works. Alrighty, so now we're going to go to the second technique called committing to quality. In the committing to quality technique, this is perhaps my most favorite technique in the world because at the end of the day, it emphasizes on the big Q, which is quality. Quality is important to your boss, to your colleagues, but most of all, it's important to your client and it's value add to you at the end of the day. You want to be that guy. You want to be that guy with the amazing PowerPoint presentations, right? So uh, in this technique, we're going to be talking about SVG files, which is a scalable vector graphics file. I do not need, uh, I do not know what that means. You do not need to know what that means. But what you do need to know is you cannot import an SVG file into PowerPoint. And then you also have an EMF file, an enhanced meta file. Again, I do not know what that means. But what you do need to know what that, uh, what you do need to know, sorry, is that these icons can be brought into PowerPoint. Okay, Are we good on that. So let's just get started on the technique. Go to any icon search engine. So I showed you icon finder before that could work. You can also use iconmonster.com, which is right here, monster, there's no E in there. Um, and then we're just gonna click on any icon we'd like. I like the Reddit icon. A lot of people uh, have showed, have came to Slack out through Reddit. So it's, uh, I'm just gonna do it uh, justice and, 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 and bring it up in, my, uh, in, in our video, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm going to download it. Remember to read the license agreement, by the way, before you do, before you start using these icons. So um, you're going to download it like so, and it's going to show up in my downloads folder. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it to my desktop like so. And yeah, sorry, I'm just replacing it because I already downloaded it before. So this is the file that we have now. This file is totally useless to us right now. We need to convert it into a file that PowerPoint would recognize. And to do that, you can also use a website um, called cloudconvert.com, which is right here. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to go to select files, go to desktop like I showed you before. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to that Reddit icon that I had before over here. And instead of SVG, you're going to go to vector EMF. And then you, when you're ready to go, just click on start conversion. So you're just going to wait for that. You know, it's done. All right, it's done now. So you want to download it. And you're going to just click on show it folder. And you're going to drag and drop the EMF, the EMF file into PowerPoint like so. There you go. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up into here. Okay. Here's where it gets a bit tricky, but just bear with me. By the way, that was sarcastic. Ungroup it. Ungroup it. You can go to arrange and ungroup to do that. And then you're going to get this error message saying, this is an important picture, not a group. Do you want to convert it into a Microsoft Office drawing object? That is exactly what we want to do. So you're going to click on yes. Okay. And there you go. You have an icon now that you can totally enjoy and you can play around with. Just be aware that you might want to de delete the background photo first. So, uh, uh, because it was a group before, but there you go. Now this icon right here can be totally editable any way you'd like. You can make it red. You can remove the outline. You can add whatever you'd like. You can stretch like this. You can do it like this. You can do whatever you'd like. It is your icon to use any way you'd like. Alrighty, so let's get into the third and final technique called the I got this technique. This technique is all about you making your own icon using the PowerPoint shapes that is available to you, really. Um, I do not recommend this technique. This technique takes too long, uh, especially for those icons that are, you know, really, really, let's say detailed. But if you want a really, really like small icon that you think you can do in a matter of 30 seconds, that yeah, maybe, maybe. But uh, just be aware of this one. So let's just draw a speech bubble together. That's fun. It's very simple. Uh, let's go to insert shapes and click on the rounded rectangle right here. And I'm just going to make this huge speech bubble like so. And then I'm just going to bring in a triangle. So insert shapes and then we're just going to click on the triangle and we're just going to do this, right? Uh, I'm going to flip this triangle. So I'm just going to click on format, rotate, and then flip vertical. And I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to select on both of them like so. 
and I'm going to make it one shape, which is the orange color we use. I'm going to remove the outline. Already you can see what I'm trying to say. I already made a speech bubble. If you want to fine tune it, sure. Let's click on this yellow dot right here to move the angle to the right like this. And hey, 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 we have a speech bubble. So once we have this speech bubble right here, we can then group it up. We can press control G to group it all together. And then we can just resize it any way you'd like, like this or whatever. Um, the reason why I don't like it, look at it. Sometimes if you want to sort of adjust it and you move it to the right like this, you know, you can see that little triangle is getting so small and you're trying to fix it and you have to go back and, okay, I have to extend this triangle a bit more to make it, oh my God, what am I doing? Uh, it's a lot of editing. And I only recommend this option if you have a lot of time in your hands. So please avoid this one unless you have a lot of time in your hands or unless you really, really want to make an icon. Um, it's up to you really so yep that's the third technique and that is it ladies and gentlemen we hope you liked the video if you did please do like comment share and subscribe uh, we are going strong week on week we are growing at a rapid pace we absolutely love it we are pumped to get you guys videos we have another one lined up for you next week hopefully uh, we even have a new logo. Did you check this guy out? That was our Easter egg for this whole thing. Check out our new slide cow logo. We have a cow, you know, he's ready to make your slides amusing. And with the tie and the glasses, oh, it's, it's, it's great. It's great work. PowerPoint team. Anyway, uh, safe journeys. Be happy. Uh, be awesome at PowerPoint. And please, if you need anything, please let me know. We are more than happy to help. We'll see you next week, guys. And girls, peace.